Okay, idol, nasa studio po natin Si Ato Humoriz Evelyn Isa po siyang nani yeah. From Uganda. Uganda Uganda Yes How are you? I'm good Evelyn? I'm good You're so tall Yeah How tall are you? I think it's 6'2 My goodness <laughs> Pwede siya maging basketball player She's tall and she's pretty Thank you Yeah So What can we do for you? I want to go home and I don't have money. Okay. I can't afford a ticket and I almost overstayed here. Okay. Oh, how did you come to the Philippines? I used to work for Saibel. Saibel Gonzalez? Yes. All right. Yeah, she was my boss for four years. I met her on December 31st, 2013. Mm -hmm. So you used to work for Saibel Gonzalez? Here in the Philippines or in other countries? In my in country. In your country? Yes, she was working in my country. She wanted to bring me, but I told her I still have family issues. Okay. After like eight months, I told her, I'm ready, can I come? Okay. Then she told me, it's okay. She even gave me an invitation letter, which I provided on airport. Right. When I arrived here, she was still studying. She didn't have a job. Okay. So she asked me if I can stay with her mom and her baby, which I agreed because I knew Saibel. I thought we were going to be like family, friends. Right. right. But things changed. Wh I, what do you mean things changed? No, I don't know what happened to her. She started to be paranoid, so bossy. It's, mm -hmm. It becomes different from the way we used to live in Uganda. Well, what was her job in Uganda when she was there at that time? In she Uganda? was a professor at the university. Oh, that's where you met her. And she hired you as a nanny. Yes. When in she her. was in Uganda. Yes. And yes. then when she came back to the Philippines, yes. you were the one who volunteered. Yes. Who asked her so if can you could I come, come over. stay with you? Right. Because I loved her baby. She had a beautiful baby girl. And she what was the arrangement? You will be working for her as a, as a nanny? Yes. Taking care of her baby. Okay. And that was the arrangement? That yes. was agreed? Yes. Upon? Okay, before coming over. Mm. And was that fulfilled, that arrangement? No, some she didn't. Like? Because she was supposed to provide me a visa, like, for staying. Right. But after she told me that she can't afford it, it's very expensive. Uh, working visa? Yes. How much was the salary that she told you that you'll get from her as a nanny here in the Philippines? And she told me it's four five. 4,500 pesos. Mm -hmm. How much is that in Uganda? Uh, it's, it's not that much. but Four, five. And you agreed to it? Yes. Per month as yeah, yeah. Yes. And here in Manila or in, in, a, in a province? No, I was in the province. What province is this? Shalgao Island. Shalgao Island. Yes. Okay. So how long did you work? I've been there for 11 for months. 11 months. Yes. And things changed like you said, so you went out. Things changed, but... It was okay because I could ignore her since she was not staying there. I was staying with her mother and the baby. But she right. always texted me, she called me, right. she tell me like things. I start to feel bad like deep down. I ignore it. Okay. When her family gives me something and she find out that like a brother bought me something or oh, her mother, she will make it a bigger, a bigger, a bigger deal about it. Like, you think my mom likes you, you think my brother loves you because they give you that, they don't love you. I'm the only one who can help you she here. She gets jealous? I don't know if it's jealous or some, I don't understand. Okay. So, but I always ignore her. Right. But on December, we were together. I couldn't keep it in. I what happened that time in December? On December, the sister bought me a ticket to come to Manila for vacation. So we were together everywhere. Everywhere they went, they took me with them. They treat me like family. Oh, that's good. They buy me gifts. All right. After they buy me gifts, like, she will find me. Oh, they bought you expensive things. You think they love you? They don't love you. Like, she Who said that? Saibel. Saibel. She kept put that one in my head. They don't love you. I'm your boss here. I can fire you anytime I want. No one will cater you. So I'm like, I don't mind if they don't love me. But what matters to me, they are good to me. And I'm satisfied with the that. The relatives? Yes. The relatives are good. They are very good. Like, they are so nice. All right. You need your passport. Yes. Where's your passport? They told me she already sent it to Paranyaki, to her sister's place. Okay. Yes. Plus, 
I, I'm sure since you're an overstaying visitor, there is a fee that you have to pay. It's yes. Penalty. I'll take care of it for you. Oh, thank you. Thank and, you so much. And you need the transport, I mean, a plane fare going back to Uganda. Yes. How much is the plane fare? I really don't know. That's all right. I'll, I'll take care of that. Okay. But first, let's talk to Steve Gonzalez. I know him. Okay. <laughs> Mr. Steve Gonzalez, magandang hapon po, Mr. Steve. Sir, magandang hapon po. Sir, you're the best daw. <laughs> you're the best, ba? Oh, sabi niya. you're the best, eh. <laughs> <laughs> Pero, sir, todo po rin siya sa family niyo, ha? Except uh, kay Saibel. Sa lahat daw po ng mga eh. kamag-anak po, mababait daw kayo. At ikaw daw po ang the best. <laughs> right. So, uh, what happened as far as you're concerned between her and I, Saibel? I don't know, sir. Uh, she left the house two days ago and she said, ask Mama to, to unwind. First, I think he's thinking about he's going back to Siargao. And then we like say, yeah, yeah, I can go home now. We are worrying, worrying about you. Where are you now? So, like that. But he replied, he can make it, he can make it. And then we know that I uh, go to your uh, no, station. The reason why she came to us is mm. she wanted her passport back. Uh, her passport is already at where she lives here in Manila. So if she can take it anytime. Okay. Regarding the airfare, so we can manage to analyze uh, don't worry about that. We can send it back if you want. Oh, okay. So, so you're willing to pay for her airfare oh, okay. going back to yes, Uganda? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. If that she wants. She wants. That's then very nice of you. So anyway, if that happens, if if you will really do that, then the money that I'm supposed to spend for you, like I promised earlier for the airfare, <laughs> I'll give it to you as your allowance. Yeah. Thank uh, you. So you have you have money in your pocket. Thank you, sir. All okay, right. Okay. All right. So, sir, wh when uh, are you gonna give the passport? When are you gonna give the money for the plane fare? She he's, can take it to he's my. Not there. Uh, huh? uh, he's not there. In, there in the place. He's there, yeah, in the place. Just tell me how much the the the, the plane uh, fare. The plane ticket and I will pay for it. Okay, this is what we're gonna do, uh, sir. Uh, first, we're gonna check with the immigration how much is the penalty, because uh, okay. the last time there was an overstaying visitor, and mm. uh, he has to pay eighteen thousand pesos, and we took care of that. Okay. We'll take yes, care sir, of everything. Oh, you take care of that too? Chicken, okay, very nice. Cool. Chicken, cool. chicken, chicken, cool. go back to your place right. safely and sound. So, so can, can we deal with you as opposed to Saibel? No problem, no problem. Thank you, sir. You, you want to say anything to, uh, you, know, you know what, Sir Steve? Saibel is jealous. <laughs> Saibel is jealous of you, you know, being nice to Evelyn. Bakit siya nagsaselos kapag Kayo pong mga kamag-anak ay nagiging mabait dito kay Evelyn. Hindi eh, ko alam sa yung story kasi niyan eh. Pero kung nandun kasi kami sa bahay, wala naman. Okay naman lahat. Smooth naman sa wala namang ano, computation na nangyari. Okay. So okay naman lahat. Wala you want to say something to Steve? No, I just want to say thank you, Daddy Dodong. Daddy? Okay, you're welcome. Daddy Dodong. <laughs> yeah, we call oh. because the kids, what? they call him Daddy Dodong. Ah, so, okay. I'm used to that since I stay with the child, and the child calls him Daddy Dodong. Oh. So, everyone at the ho at the house, we all call him Daddy Dodong. Oh, okay. Yes. So, yan, Daddy Dodong. <laughs> eh, bilib na bilib sa'yo. Itong, nakabawi po yung family mo dahil sa'yo. <laughs> Kasi kanina, okay galit okay siya dito kay Saibel, pero dahil po sa inyo, bawing-bawi po kayo. <laughs> okay naman sir, walang problema okay. yan. Sige sir, eh, magkikipagkita kami sa inyo, sasama namin siya para doon po sa kanyang mga dokumento at hanggang sa siya maka-uwi, okay? Okay sir, okay sir. Okay, Thank you. I'm so happy. Okay. <laughs> I hope Saibel was here, I would tell her that she was wrong. Because oh. she told me, no one will help me except her. Mm -hmm. So I would love to tell it to her to her face that she's wrong. Not everyone is at this as bad as her. At least you know the family of uh, Saibel no, treated I, you very nicely. I can't say anything about them. They are the best, even compared to my country. They are the, the best people I have lived with because they don't complain. They don't everything you want. They give you. That's the that's where I w that's where it gets bad because whenever they give me what I want, even without me asking, Saibel gets bad and moody about it. So and I know Mama Belins want her kids to like to be connected together. I don't want to be the person who's going to make Saibel think that her family don't. 
respect her because of me. I don't want that. For the sake of the baby I take care of, I don't okay. want her to have that thing. Okay. Yeah. But did you enjoy your stay here in the Philippines? Oh my God, I enjoyed here. It's you so, like the food? It's so amazing. Mm -hmm. I hope I can stay a little longer, but <laughs> home is the best. Of course. <laughs> but it's nice here. It's nice here. You yeah. want to stay here? If given the chance, you want to stay here? Uh-uh. Ayan, oh, yung mga binata dyan. <laughs> oh. Baka may mga binata dyan. Oh. You can, you can, <laughs> you can be mistaken as Miss Uganda. I <laughs> know. Really? Representing your country. I'll go home and try it. <laughs> like because of your height as well, you're six too. <laughs> but Uganda is full of most like beautiful women who are. But you know what? There's a lot of netizens watching us right now, and they said you're really pretty. Wow! I'm so glad. Thank you, guys. <laughs> See? Really? I'm glad to be here. Although I didn't get to meet. So maybe I want, I want to see you next time, when you come back to the Philippines, as representative of uganda as miss uganda how's that yeah. <laughs> in the miss universe beauty pageant then you will help me meet Derek ramsey okay Derek ramsey mm -hmm. oh, you like him he's he's my best oh <laughs> you you wanna you wanna say something to him he's watching right now <laughs> yeah yeah go ahead go ahead say something to Derek. Uh, actually he's a friend. Actually, he's a friend when i was coming here yeah, go, go ahead when i was oh, coming oh. here the immigration in uganda asked me evelyn what are you going to do in the Philippines. in Philippines what did you say and that time it was the next day was Valentine I was like uh -huh. seriously it's Valentine uh -huh. I want to go and spend it with Derek Ramsey <laughs> oh you want to spend you, you want to say something to Derek Ramsey go ahead <laughs> no he's my best like actor of all time uh-huh I think he was if he was in if he was born in Uganda I wouldn't been still single Oh. I'd already been married. So what what if uh, Derek Ramsey would like to take you on a day? Ah, trust me, I will I will go right away. <laughs> <laughs> like Valentine's Day is fast approaching. Um, so what if she he, he would invite you to come back to the Philippines and go out for a date with him? Is that okay? I will sleep at the airport. You'll sleep at the airport? Yes. And wait for that Valentine's wait Day to come. Wait for that time to come. Why Derek Ramsey? I don't know. For me He's a manly man. He's like manly God man. of a man. Like he's the best. <laughs> he's the best. Yes. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Given the chance to meet with him in a snap of a finger, I, you'll go in. I'm gone already. <laughs> oh, okay. Hi, Derek. Oh, Derek, meron gusto makipag-usap sa your fan motor big fan from Uganda. Super good! Oh my god, I'm a super big fan. Oh, thank you very much. Can I kidnap you? <laughs> I'm so happy. Oh, thank you, dear. Oh my gosh. Are you still staying here in the Philippines? I'd love to meet you. Oh. Oh.